Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 4 Part 95. It's it's super it's hypercar time. This is the uh, the Gumpert Apollo S. This is a crazy fucking looking car, isn't it? It is. And it's got 700 horsepower to the rear wheels, but guess what? I'm gonna be upgrading it to the top of R3 class. Because this thing starts off in R3, because we're moving up to R3. We're done with S class, we're moving up to the R class now. And, oh yeah, that's right. And this is the only Gumpert in the game, which means I actually have to pay for fucking upgrades, because I haven't driven a Gumpert yet, but hey. It's fine, so. A little extra monies, and let's go race. I I'm just did the auto upgrade just as a precaution, because fuck it. Anyways, yeah, single, or one make race for the Gumpert Apollo. Oh boy, six laps around Hockenheim. Well, it's R3 time, let's do this shit. Well, that sure was awful. Um, okay, let's try to make it to turn two this time without dying to death. That'd be cool. So, uh, yeah. Alright, so be a little careful on the turn one this time, since everybody just kind of piles in there. So also be careful in second gear because, uh, wheel spin. Okay, much, much better start this time. Much, much better. Ooh. Three wide, I don't like this. Oh god, okay. We're good, everything's fine. Oh, shit. I hit whatever. Damaged my car. Anyways, yeah. We're, we're in the big fast territory. Like, the big fast. So, yay. Also big expensive. So now let's see if I did a good enough job uh, saving money. Because it's... Yeah, it's only down here, downhill from here. Ooh. How you doing, Muller? What the fucking... What is up, my dude? Alright, oh, I saw that shadow. This is Ru Russo? Russo, what are you doing in the top five? Apparently Russo knows how to drive this car. Or something. I don't even know. He was the one that ended the first attempt at turn two. I'm just gonna stay in third gear through here, cause fuck it. <laughs> Less chance of spinning the tires. Alright. Map one done. I lose- I still apparently suck major ass at the stadium section. No, oh, works for me, I guess. I can make up the time- make up a lot of the time lost in, like, the first couple turns, so, of the next lap, so. It's whatever, dude. It's whatever, brah. Alright, now, yeah, Slipstream Miller down the straight as we stare into the sun. Almost 180 miles per hour before I got on the brakes way too soon. Because this damn hairpin. God, this hairpin. Anyways. Alright, now Evans and Rossi. The only ones I need to pass. A little uh, impromptu cheeky dive on Evans here. Not really forcing the issue, though. But I'm going to get the pass anyways. Maybe. Kind of went super wide there. But I oh, got it. Now, here's the problem. Rossi's pulling the fuck away, and he's easily gonna gain another, like, second on me through the stadium section, because I absolute garbage around here. So, that's gonna be fun. To deal with. Alright. 3.1 at the line. Fantastic. 
Hooray. Control, throttle control. I gain a second, hooray, in the first sector. Like I said, all the time I lose from the stadium section, I gain it back in the first sector. I still have no idea what the good breaking point for this hairpin is, so I'm just playing it safe. Don't mind me. Ooh, that was kind of a short shift. Whoops. neck gap on Rossi. And down to one second now. So in two sectors, I've gained two seconds. And I'm about to lose one of those seconds. Through this final sector. Honestly, this car, it, I don't know if it's the upgrades, but this car is a lot easier to control than expected, not gonna lie. It might be the added grip from whatever fucking handling upgrades are on this thing, but, you know. Okay, lost, didn't lose a full second, but still lost quite a bit of time. Also, camera change, because we're halfway through the race. Slipstream on Rossi. To the inside, onto the brakes. Please don't be too late. Thank f God. And into P1, just like that. That was, that was a very well executed pass. Holy shit. That was like a perfectly executed pass. That's some shit that you see in real life racing. Damn. The slipstream, the pullout, the outbreaking the just everything so it's got to go on win which hopefully I'll be able to do as long as I don't fucking bin it I should be fine Overwatch memes in chat. Oh my god. It's so dank, man. It's so dank. And also concerning about your mental state. <laughs> Q. Anyways, two to go here at the Kalkenkeimer. The Kalaka Blocker. Locker Bocker. Two second and gap over Rossi. Very nice. Ooh. I'm surprised I'm having no troubles with the hairpin. It's usually I have all the troubles breaking for the hairpin. Wheel spin. Okay. Round and around the hairpin. Oh. oh that turned into a decent setup, even though it. Felt a little uh, 
incorrect. In fact, it felt very incorrect, but hey, whatever. Okay, final lap. That lap was slow as balls. Nice and smooth. Into the sun. Too soon. I think I'm gonna clip the grass ever so slightly, but we're fine. That was quite a tight fucking hairpin for such a long run to it, I'm not gonna lie. Like, goddamn, that hairpin is tight. It's kind of one of those corners where you kind of question the safety of it. It's just like carrying so much speed into this tight a turn. It's like, ooh. Ooh. A little bit of risky business. Alright, two more corners. Go around the drag strip. Well, not really around it, just kind of close to it, next to it. And there we go. Gumper Apollo, one make race complete. Once again, a lot easier to drive than expected. Not sure how much of that factors in, is factored by the uh, upgrades on this thing, but I don't know. So, yeah, I'm now a Gumper fan, woo. Only got a triple level up, you know, no big deal. There we go. That's another race down, and that's our first R3 class race of the event list done. So, isn't that fucking cool? So yeah, anyways. We shall move on to our next R3 race in the next segment, so with that, stay tuned for more Forza 4.